What's up guys? This is the Braveman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Pirates. So to pick up where we left off, we have landed a force off of the shores of Nassau, where a very strong British force waits to receive us. So let us engage their troops. We are going to be on the offensive and I'm going to have to be a bit risky or bold with my general because we're likely to run into... Uh, a couple of situations where I'm just going to need to run cavalry into stuff to either hold them up or cause them to break. But we're going to be fairly... We're going to do what we've done previously where we're going to have our militia are actually going to make up our centre. Their job will be to surround as much as they can and our pirates are going to be there to whip around the flanks and engage the enemy in melee and then our general is going to follow up the center to try and prevent too much of a morale breakdown slash deploy on the flank where there's a where they've got cavalry so the enemy is a lot does have a large contingent of their own buccaneers african musketeers militia Got their own cavalry they got some artillery so we do want to try and push up quite conclusively be quite aggressive because otherwise we end up in a situation where we're just going to get blown to kingdom come pretty much yeah the first shots have been fired I want my buckner is to try and isolate and destroy as many units as they can. My, our militia should be quite conclusive. Especially as now they have their own bayonets. Where's my general? Unit of buccaneers on the flank. I want to charge them with a bit of cavalry. So you men, fortunately, because the Buccaneers have not elected to charge us, you can just pour a volley straight into them. Get my general on the advance. Get my own Buccaneers up here. My militia line, just continue to fire. You have got men climbing over the wall, well, stuck on the wall, so these guys won't shoot. Send one unit over towards that enemy unit of buccaneers to support my general. Get these two units to, support, to isolate that buccaneer unit, one more unit to advance and destroy the this unit. On the left flank, get a unit of buccaneers in here first. My general will then pick up the engagement. So my buccaneers, well it's 2v1 and we've charged so we should win that engagement there. Buccaneers have broken. Okay, we've got enemy cavalry, so spread out our buccaneers. Charge the militia into the dragoons to with to take the charge. Now they're gonna hit my buccaneers. But we've got plenty of troops here. Bring my general's bodyguard over to make sure they don't get too upset. Bring up my Another unit of buccaneers around the flank. You meant pivot to continue engaging the line. The buccaneers are beating the African militia musketeers, kind of. Okay, the right flank is where we've got where we want to keep the advance going. Mm, 
Yeah, here we go. You men need to go fight the musketeers up here. If we can break op break open our line here, you're oh, we're going to get involved in musketry fights. Let's get our infantry here. Get my general involved. Get my militia to push. Get my these buccaneers to push forward. Get these buccaneers over towards that buccaneer unit, but keep my general in the centre. You men bayonet charge that colonial militia unit. Just try to tie up that buccaneer unit to the rear. Try to go after the general's bodyguard with my troops. Push on against their line infantry because we're going to have buccaneers in here to support. You go after their gunners. You men push after the infantry. Buccaneers on the flank that are pushing round. Get my pirates through to attack that general's bodyguard. Go on, get that buccaneer unit to rout. There's one unit to the rear we need to take out. You men get on to go on and engage this colonial militia that's coming in. In the flank, their infantry is happy with what's going on. Get my general out of there, because I don't want him to get bogged down in were too bogged down in the combat. The militia here, if they break soon, got a unit of buccaneers have broken on the left, which is understandable. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Get more men up to support the battle on this flank. You guys charge down that buccaneer unit. You're going to charge this militia unit in the rear. You're going to try and engage the general's bodyguard, because if we can kill their general, that will really help. That infantry unit sticking around a lot better than I thought it would. That buccaneer unit's come back, so I'm hoping we can mob this unit and destroy them. Okay, let's get you guys into the rear to charge this militia unit. The line infantry, so they're doing really quite well. I don't want to really want to lose my general, but I don't really, I can't afford to not use him. And you guys can go after them. We've killed the enemy general, which is perfect. Let's get my general out of here. You men all focus on the first regiment of foot. The enemy militia have been pushed back. Excellent. So then let's take all of you guys. Sands Buccaneers push up. Push everyone into this action here. This has been real messy. Real messy. We need more. <laughs> yeah. Well, it was always going to be messy. Now we're just a horde of militia and buccaneers running around everywhere. So the African musketeers are there. My pirates are charging down the hill towards the 12th regiment. Yep, here they come. There we go. Surround and destroy that last unit. <laughs> there we go. Hurrah! 
So now we need to replenish and put Nassau under siege. Put them under the knife. We want to take Nassau, then try and march on to Caracas, I think. Don't want to make landfall, not in the mainland. That would not be the best decision. Twenty-eight hundo. Yeah, we can't replenish our entire army for that. But just put the territory under siege and wait. Okay, so you've got a floyd, but I think we've got a yeah. Federico Callas is going to raid. So let's get this floyd revanche over there as well. 4,000 next turn income, that's pretty good. Be even better to take Nassau, it'll be even better if I can uh, try and make peace with Britain once we've taken it, but I don't think we're going to get that opportunity. One more turn till we get common land enclosures, which will be useful at the very least. Because we don't have a naval building to research next generation advanced ships. Sweden again wanting peace, but I'm hoping the main reason why they keep... Okay, peace with Louisiana is tempting because the AI with these factions can actually get a bit trigger happy. Like they'll sit there in lower Louisiana and just build up a stack and then attack us. So at least by making a temporary peace with them, we're not having to worry about that. There we go, common land enclosures. You want to push on to improve animal husbandry. That's not a bad idea. Division of labour would be pretty good. 4,000. I mean, that was a pretty good battle, so I might just auto that. Because the last one, the last action was pretty good. So, repair, replenish, repair the Grand Bahamas. Get a sloop to raid here. See if we can lure out any enemy ships. So what's that? 4,700 next turn. 1,800. But we've got farms we can upgrade now, don't we? We have two farms. Tenanted farm here. And a tenanted farm here. Starting to get a good bit of juicy growth. Fleet arrives. That's my flight. Could. It's a sloop of war. No, I want Britain to trade. Because any trade they make, is we're raiding it here. <laughs> it's got 800 cash. It's a race built galleon. The puffer fish go over to East Africa. Let's get another race built galleon. Get two race built galleons built. To continue our piracying. Piracy <laughs> 6,100 next turn, which is great. Gonna get some more growth out of Nassau. Peace treaty signed with Louisiana. Again, that how that will cut down our income somewhat, but Louisiana isn't one of the territories we're most bothered about. So you men sail down to Caracas. Again, their garrison's pretty poor, so we should protect the city quite quickly. They have a gem mine here, which is useful. Provide some good tax income. Let's hit end turn again. Yes, let's let's lick our wounds, then jump on and hit Caracas because there's an op there's a chance that well we we could get drawn into a bit of a slugfest with New Spain, but I think we've got to do it sooner rather than later. Fleet arrives. There we go. Oh, I think so. I I don't know if I have to. No, okay, they are raiding. 6,200. So, where's that, that other ship? The race built galleon I built here. I might actually send you to join Mr. Lindsay, because that's a, a good point to raid. You are still raiding, aren't you, Mr. Culliford? A less, a less valuable region. 
less valuable trade route to raid, but it's more about my ability to defend my capital. So you might actually go and organically recruit two more galleons. Punda. Recruit some more infantry. Okay, road is a bit overkill. Well, they're not overkill in Cuba and they're not overkill in Santo Domingo. Actually, what's my, my most profitable region? It is Dutch Guyana. And the French Guyana. Cuba's good. Jamaica's not so bad. But realistically, if we're not... Okay, so I have a commercial port. Can I build... No. I was hoping I might want to get some better ships. Uh, but yeah, keep Nassau. Or to be honest, I may as well not even bother recruit here. Because it doesn't really matter. We can rebuild in... Nassau. It'll take a few turns. But what we're going to be doing is building up our economy as well getting some more technologies good stuff all around I think be yeah, everyone the whole world is going to be wondering oh Quebec has got independent interesting 7800 that's a lot of cash Elite arrives. Okay. So you're still recruiting race building race built galleons. Just keep just keep building race built galleons, I suppose. Your plantations aren't quite as useful. They do provide a boost to tax income though. So let's maybe get a large tobacco plantation. So we do get bonuses from wealth. We're like we're not exporting them. We're not getting anything from a trade perspective, but it is that good growth. Puerto Principe, 13 turns. That's here, isn't it? No. Oh, it's an actual town. That's useful. 5,700 next turn. Okay. One more turn till we get improved animal husbandry, which is pretty good. Yes, here come the... Well, here comes no one at the moment. That's quite handy. Would like to take Caracas... But what we're going to start stuff from is we just don't have a good infantry counter. Okay, so you're going to support that force here. The race built galleon is going to go out to East Africa. War declared between Poland and Sweden. Good. The more wars there are, the less people focus on me. You're going to get next level roads. To be honest, I might just bite the bullet. I mean, I know this is a completely illogical decision because they make me no money, but I do like building roads. Okay, so you are one more turn so you're fully recruited so you can pick up a... Pick up a... Yeah, build a just build a sloop. Transport us over to Caracas. Then we can push on to Bogota, then Panama, then up through to Mexico. Hopefully building up our tax base and our piracy network such that we can build up, start to build up a second army. Either to, to potentially just to support the first one we've got. Because we know we're not going to do well in the long run. Okay, good. So you chaps... Okay, you go over there, you go over to East Africa. You 
your sloop is ready. So I'm fairly, sh I'm pretty sure you can leave Nassau. Yeah, you can. Get aboard ship. Take the Amethyst to Barracuda. Down to Curacao. We may or may not actually attack the city now. It depends. Sometimes the game lets us and sometimes it doesn't. Uh, not close. For whatever reason, we can't. Let the army off, please. That's damn strange. But it gives me an idea. If it won't let me get off anywhere except a port, do I... Do I just go for Mexico? Do I kick New Spain in the ghoulies? And just go for Mexico, in which case then you men make make port in Port Royal. If we can't dismount here for some reason. Okay, we might actually make the Brass Marlin. Jean Winthrop. Yeah, you can pick up. You can try recruit some flights. But it, yeah, it's weird that I couldn't deposit my troops off the coast. It's not normally an issue. So what I'm going to do is sail into the port at Mexico and try that route. Then fortify Mexico while I push south. Where are you going? I didn't even give you an order. What? What? Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, you guys go join Mr. Winthrop. Fleet arrives. More ships in the trade theatres. Okay, we could take that ship, but I'm not interested. I like if they're producing an extra 600 trade, which we're not raiding with this fleet, but we are raiding with this one. Lots of trade going through that part of the world. Okay, we're at 10 grand. Upgrade a bunch of plantations because we may as well. Cayenne needs the governor's palace as well. Boost that tax rate even higher. Then you can attack Caracas next turn. In terms of tech, you go into four field crop rotation. I might rather have you go for division of labour, just because it's a good um, upgrade that will allow us to build next generation ports, which will be useful. There we go. Give an order to re to re raid. Then we did have a another race built galleon. Let's move them out now so we don't lose the raiding income. Eight grand next turn. It's pretty good. Trouble is though, it's eight grand next turn as long as someone, an AI, doesn't just go, Ooh, there's pirate nations to the north. France has been France has been knocked out. It looks like France has been knocked out. Peace with the new sp no. No Spain. No new Spain. You and your cross-eyed king. We are going to have you. But it looks like... So Quebec... Maybe it must have been when Quebec popped up. Yeah, Spain took him out. Oh my... Oh my god. So Poland has knocked out Austria. I've missed that. Spain's knocked out France. The United Provinces is... Solid. Okay. Sweden's is invading Russia. The Ottomans, uh, they've also pushed. They've taken Vienna. Okay, so Europe is a mess. Let's stay out of that. On deck. Just keep raiding. Just keep raiding. There we go. Load of roads built. Orders, Get the race built galleon up. Okay, 
Okay, before I go mad. Okay, that's been done. Let's go and take Caracas from New Spain. Then we'll finally have a an artillery building and a barracks where we can progress down the military techs. Not that it'll really help us, because by all accounts, we don't get any more units. This is it for the pirates. Um, apparently Minor Factions Revenge is a more interesting pirate mod, so what I will probably do is when this campaign gets to, when I meet the victory conditions for a world domination as the, as the game sees it, I might end it there, because if it feels like Minor Factions Revenge is the more interesting mod to play as the pirates, then I may as, that's may as well be what I do. Because you know, what this will be by the end you I mean, you think if I had lots of armies as Italy or America or whoever I'm going to have stacks off stacks off stack of, of uh, militia you know you think late game fighting against the Mughals is going to was boring already, or potentially a bit tedious, <laughs> what about when all I've got is just dozens and dozens of armies of militia because that's what I'm going to need Oh, there we go, they've they've exposed themselves. Native Bowman Auxiliary. So you've got four units. And as they continue to trot around rather than get into position, even though we just have basic militia. Oh why did my sound not work? Oh well, either way. Colonial line, Bowman Auxiliary, Bowman Auxiliary, couple of units of basic colonial artillery that we're now too close for them to engage. Native Warrior Auxiliary. They might give my pirates a bit of a bit of a scrap. go. Get everyone stuck in. Winning slightly even though they're, they're, the, num the numbers of troops were dropping rapidly but they still think they're winning because they were killing so many more of us. Because my buccaneers are only light. No, go keep going around. What would really help is if well, when I've taken Caracas the barracks will allow me to build or research bayonets, which will really help for my militia. There we go. To be honest, my militia is probably better served continuing the encirclement, but I don't think it really matters. Although it might matter if they're going to focus on my general. Militia, there we go. Let's get the you guys out of that action. It looks like the pirates, the buccaneers alone, are going to be enough to secure victory here. The main force is routed. Oh, my militia couldn't get away. They're going to turn around and try again. So Native Americans with tomahawks and they've just got pirates. There we go. <laughs> well, there's no point really. I know everyone's, everyone has fallen. There's probably someone... Oh, I was about to say there might be someone hidden. Because that is classic Native AI. There we go, we have Caracas! That means we can now start to research basic bayonets and all this stuff doesn't really do anything for us because we don't make any use of it, but 
We'll take it. By Jingo, we'll take it, alright. So first of all, can... I think, just build the basic buildings in this territory. Can you guys leave Caracas? You can. Push towards the frontier. Let's not build roads, let's build a gem pit to add an immediate 700 to town wealth. It's an extra 134 tax income a turn. Then we're at 7 grand income. It's not bad. Let's upgrade the farm as well, because why not? Okay, there we go. I might actually start trying to research bayonets now because that will be very useful to us now, even though I can get basic cannons that very much that much I do know I wonder if there's a potential future here where I just ignore most of the military text and just go straight for quicklime because if I can get howitzers quicklime will really help well artillery will be really useful Interesting. You become the, you start playing as the pirates, and it's the artillery that starts to stand out. Anyway, Mr. Dampy, continue your push towards Bogota. We can upgrade the governor's residence. We can upgrade the barracks, just because I think we at least need one building to go through here for research purposes. Uh, we're at five thousand. Good amount of oh, good, some good upgrades there. Okay, let's recruit. Let's recruit two galleons to send to overseas trade theaters. We'll make well. Let's get a galleon and a flight built in to go over next turn. Farms being upgraded. Everything's being upgraded. Thirty-four turns till you are. going to produce a new town we are on 7200 wealth I'm just interested to get towns so I can get agents I can have a pirate agent but imagine that you know <laughs> you're in Mexico and they're there discussing Mexican things and then you just hear clunk 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 and a guy with a parrot on his shoulder being like hola me hearties <laughs> I get a kick out of that <laughs> Quebec wants peace. You know what? Sure. I want to recruit, recruit an army to go capture some of these territories to the north. So Newfoundland particularly would be a useful one to take. Let's keep, keep on pushing. Uh... I think I'll agree the governor's palace. I mean, it'll take forever to get the money back because it's three grand, but I've got to be upgrading my empire somehow. I mean, it isn't producing any direct growth benefits. It increases tax share, but tax share is still tiny. Yeah, just spend spend surplus on building more ships. Maybe upgrade you to an opera house because that's quite cheap. One and a half grand. Let's leave that in the the bank as a war chest. We're about to get plug bayonets, which will be particularly useful. We might even start to get some artillery next turn. But yeah, I think we're not going to get any bonuses, any real bonus. Thirteen colonies, no sir. We want to raid your stuff. We want to steal your trade and bring it into our own pirate empire. Excellent. Plug bayonet. We've got a cannon foundry. So you instead are not going to do carbines because I don't. I can't recruit carbine units. Canister shot because at least I can get twelve pounders. 
There we go. I can start to build artillery now. That's quite useful. See, first of all, before we go too mad, let's take... What was that? The Magenta Squirrel. You go out to East Africa. Retribution. Go out to West Africa. And let's go over to Mr. Winthrop here, because your f ships are quite lightweight. So let's get two galleons and a flight. And then Mr. Dampy is going to bring war to the garrison of Bogota. And then we probably, well, I'd like to wait till we get 12 pounders rather than demi cannons, because 12 pounders are. They're just a bit better, and they don't slow us down too much. We've got some good momentum at the moment. But I do want some artillery. Let's try and do this a bit differently. Let's put a brigade of militia on the left. Put a brigade of militia on the right. The brigade in the centre is reserves. Pirates on the left. Well, buccaneers, they call them pirates because they look more piratey. There we go, general in the centre. So let's just get my militia to run up. At the very least, they now have plug bayonets, so in the event of getting charged by cavalry, they can equip bayonets. Lots of the native units are only equipped with native... they're only native musketeers, so we're not particularly bothered about the the dangers they pose, especially as I say that, the 3rd Regiment of Militia immediately starts to waver. Right, got musketeers over here in the shadows. Go on, first regiment. Send all of my pirates on this flank to attack the native musket and artillery. First mus militia regiment has routed. That's fine. There aren't many of them. We got we got surplus units. Okay, let's begin pushing up our line. Yeah, as expected, they've come back to the table. There we go. So you are Musketman Auxiliary back here too, right? Oh, your colonial line, your proper colonial line, sat in a defensive position. Engage the enemy. There we go. The mortars are starting to get upset. Musketmen are starting to get upset. My militia back, my pirates back here are walking up ready to threaten the light foot. There go the irregulars. So now it's time to face down the general and the remaining infantry units. Let's 
So let's push the pirates up on either flank of the garrison line. These militiamen just open fire on the general's bodyguard. As well as one can anyway. Got a couple of their staff. So let's just push up our formation. Ready for the line infantry that is now beginning to open fire. something to shoot at. Let's just push my pirates around to the rear. The tip of the spear, if you like, can be blunted. There you go, my pirates can engage the general. They're going to tear that colonialist pig off of his horse and put it aboard one of our ships. And there goes their general. Just the, sh the mere threat of charging into the back of the colonial line was enough. There they go, they're a coherent unit, they lost five men. Still wasn't enough to uh, settle their stomachs against the pirate hordes couple of enemy units out there so let's take Mr. Dampy replenish get to the bridge I need to engage these fellows push on to take Panama Guatemala then on to Mexico Santa Fe Texas and this is this is a good a good start I think okay let's build mines to the south because they're less exposed and let's upgrade the farm let's hold off upgrading the roads for now Except for in Caracas. Okay. Let's hit N10. So that will really help boost our tax income. I mean, I know it sounds dumb to be like, oh, talking about the pirates and tax income. And tax income. But if there's one way to kill this campaign, it's to rely on trade. And then for a major power to come in and just go, done. You're out killed you all you're done for that's the best way to for this game to go badly wrong for this campaign to go badly wrong so let's get a better governor's mansion let's build basic roads because it's another 400 coming in should it'll be, it'll be a hell of a lot more once we get these mines up and running a, a port up at cartagena which we can build a sloop to garrison see has got a new government building. Grade you to a governor's mansion. 25 turns to Puerto Cabello. Okay, the Floyd the Hanged Man is going over to East Africa. The Floyd Loro Verde is going over to West Africa. Let's go check those theatres to make sure I've not missed any announcements or alerts it doesn't look like i have you're still raiding good you're almost full strength but i don't want to start to kind of filter some ships out and try and boost your strength because the trouble is you're quite isolated out here but you're pushing up towards these armies that are currently falling back towards panama in terms of tech two turns to a canister shot I mean, ring bayonets and square formations don't really help, apart from the <laughs> plus one to command. They increase our upkeep, which isn't great. Hmm. You're still recruiting ships, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Let's hit enter. As chaos in Europe is reigning. We want that chaos to happen. We want there to be major conflict in Europe. 
peace with the 13 colonies again. No. That's right, New Spain. Fall back to Panama. Because then we can push in and take that territory as well. And continue our lightning offensive through the continent. On deck. Good. Gold mine and upgraded farms in Caracas. You are getting new roads. Fleet arrives. Yes, Good. Because a galleon aye, aye, is, quite a, is quite a powerful little ship. It's enough... It has enough um, strength that it kind of convinces the AI that sometimes it's not really worth attacking you. That's part of the issue, is that if you have a force that's too weak, the AI just goes, ah, oh, I, can, I can capture that, I can win. So again, we want to upgrade a couple of these plantations, not because they're necessarily the best thing to do, but because, at the very least, they do contribute to our tax base. So at Caracas, let's upgrade you to a Grand Royal Observatory. Try to see if we can spawn some gentlemen. It will be quite beneficial. Then let's... So you're still recruiting ships. You're recruiting ships. Okay, I want to. I want to build up a fleet. Let's. Okay, let's wait actually and build. It's the best place to build it. Let's put a galleon in Jamaica, and I want to send them to try to get up to up to about here, and then start to raid. The southern trade point that goes out to the out to Europe. That'd be a good idea, I think. You can't make excellent progress, but you can make progress. One more turn till we get canister shot. Then I can recruit some twelve pounders to join my pirate army. As we see the other factions running away. We can push in and take their territories. A rake in Cuba. Fascinating. Let's get... Let's get that rake down to Santiago de Cuba. Then we'll build a Floyd to deposit him near Mexico, and then we'll bring the Floyd back to uh, garrison one or to support one of the other armies. This Floyd can replace this brig that's currently part of the trade fleet. Get you back to the Americas. There we go, keep on raiding. Crackers has built cobbled roads and we've built the silver mine in New Granada. So again, so basic steam pump would be very useful. But we don't we haven't built a craft workshop. So now we've got canister shop. We are going to go for Division of Labour. Let's go back to Caracas. I want to build the next artillery building, because I think we can Oh no, we have to build it before we can build 12 pounders, fair enough. Again, let's upgrade to these plantations. Your roads are good. You're on your way towards Panama. Not really. There's no point in building the military governor's barracks. I mean, well, wait, let's, let's put how it says when the time comes, but the time hasn't come, so let's not worry about that. Well, the governor's palace in Nassau. Again, it's one of those decisions that it doesn't make a lot of sense if you're strictly thinking about, you know, what your, what the best move is going to be. Let's take these two galleons, Freebooter and Filibuster. Filibuster, I can't build an admiral, but let's have a look at what the trade looks like here. Not very much, because we're probably... 
Oh, I see. So they're bringing stuff. Okay, so this is the valuable point. More valuable point. Because here the trade zone's got at least, what, 10 grand's worth of goods being transferred at this point? Whereas here, it's not very much. So you men may as well support Mr. Winthrop. Yeah, continue the raiding. Right. So again, we're going to take quite a few turns. Actually, you might go for ring bayonets, the better choice, because then at least we our militia become better at melee combat. That might be the more immediately useful thing to do. It's a pity we're not going to be able to have any more any cavalry. Nope. Do not want to make peace with the 13 colonies. Oh, hello, Mughal Empire. Yeah, that's why I want to keep a fleet here. Because it seems to be quite well placed. There's the, is a fifth rate in there. We're not so bothered about keeping the fifth. We just want to destroy it. Oh no, my admiral died. And a sloop got destroyed. Very well. So, let's make Profiteur. Oh my god, you got so much experience. You men replenish, build a sloop to hold the territory and then build another galleon. So we're going to be temporarily down on our pirating income. So the only reason I autoed it is because we didn't really, we weren't really that bothered about capturing the fifth rate. We were going to win. So that territory's pretty good. We are going to attack this territory. I just want to do a bit of looking. So let's get you over to Mr. Winthrop's force. Let's not do anything with that yet. Let's get... Okay, first of all, let's get our sloop out. Technically, this actually might be a bad decision to utilise the Floyd, because they're not going to have the endurance to do what I need them to do. Although there's no... Okay, so New Spain's going to be ripe for the taking. This flight, you can stay there to maintain visibility on the region. They're actually shrinking. Interesting. But a force under Mr. Dampy, which may, may start to want to build up a second force. Mr. Dampy will attack the garrison here at Panama. Because I think we're going to definitely want... Um, canister shot once we start to get into the Americas where we have well when we're starting to fight against Native American troops that could get a bit spicy okay for a minute there I thought did they encircle us or did they tr ambush us and I thought no they didn't so I want to go a bit more traditional realistically I'm sending too many units around the flanks Let's send a pair, or two pairs. Okay, even then that might actually be too many. Keep pirates behind the lines when the melee begins. And keep two individual units going around the flank. That's the better decision, I think. Otherwise, there's a risk that I'm just... It's too easy for the enemy to punch through my line. Let's speed up time. Pikeman, garrison line. Mortars isn't good, because they'll actually do a lot of damage to us. This looks like we just need to push into the city and take it. Very well. That is what we shall do.
So then this wing... Trouble is, being light infantry, my pirates do actually move faster than my men. They do have hidden units, so we need to be ready f for those. Just keep sending up the supporting pirate units, I think. Because they aren't all there. They're going to be hidden somewhere. But we want to kind of set up a defensive position in order to isolate the garrison, the mortar units, and destroy them. Especially as it's their general unit. That makes it particularly more enticing. They might be here, actually, because they've lined up. Bing pot. There. Ah. Although they are Bowman Auxiliary. So let's get a couple of these units to put their... Uh... Okay, you guys try getting to the Town Hall before the enemy cavalry gets you. This Colonial Militia unit, don your... Plug bayonets. You push up. You push up. Pirates push up. So on this flank, Native War Auxiliary is doing pretty well. I want to try and surround this combat here. Okay, you also need to get hold of your plug bayonets, because the tribal auxiliary is actually doing pretty good. Get these buccaneers in here as well. Okay, you guys get over here and attack these native warriors, get my general over onto this flank. You pirates. Run around. My buccaneers will do some good work against the native auxiliary. Buccaneers charge in. Get some militia around the t in the rear just to keep shooting. You guys might, be able to knock, might knock out Native Aurora Auxiliary. Try kill a handful more so they shatter. So they are native units, but they're Bowman Auxiliary, so they aren't going to be the best. This Tribal Auxiliary unit is getting peppered with shot. So the Buccaneers are going to fall back. Delicious. So these units push up to the town. This unit of Buccaneers chase down the mortar garrison. Push these men on to the main fight in the centre of town. Okay, Militia, you hold here. Bring my Buccaneers up on the flank. So then, what do we want to do? What do we want to do? I hear a charge. I heard them go... Rah! Get some pirates up this end of the road to block them off. And 
you position like so, you position... Oh, they want... Oh, they are pikemen. I can say they aren't being completely mad. Okay, now you guys go like that. Get my buccaneers here. Militiamen form up. You guys do have your... You guys do have your duck stabbers at the ready. So let's get our buccaneers to charge into the rear. To be honest, this is now's the time. Push them from every angle. Pikemen could do some real damage here. So I want to try and just give everyone an order to get in here. Get in here. Pikemen are down. Everyone swarm the second regiment. Bravely holding. But here come the buccaneers and the militia. Yeah, they've broken too. Swarm, swarm, attack pattern alpha. <laughs> Nice. Awesome. So then that is Panama secured and another foothold and we're creeping our way up the continent. So repair, the, repair this building, upgrade the roads. You men replenish and we can continue to push out of the territory up towards Guatemala. So upgrading the roads. 59 turns till things are Upgraded. I think we can upgrade things. Two more turns till we get the Ordnance Factory. Oh, that was the my sloop that got sunk here. Everything else is pretty good. Um, get you guys back into port. Um, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for my Let's Play as the Pirates. Cheers, everyone.